guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. Listen, I need to make some progress in this game, okay? I gotta stop being lazy and actually get somewhere. So today we're gonna focus on Uncanny Legends. But first, shall we get a new cat? Right now we have an event called the Battle Cats Together happening. It's eight stages and each one has a chance to drop Cat Bros. Cat Bros? Where have I heard that name before? When they said cat bros, I'm not sure if they meant cat bros or cat bros. Perhaps they should have been more specific. Cat bros is a special cat that is exclusive to the Switch version of the Battle Cats. It can be obtained by pre-ordering the game's first release or the official limited edition The Battle Cats Together Nintendo Switch case combo. Except now you can get it in the normal version of Battle Cats as well. So in the Switch version, guys, cat bros evolve into cat Fools. And I don't know about you, but this is giving me some Mario and Luigi vibes. I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for. I mean, they're both holding Nintendo controllers. You're right. It could be any controller at all, but I'm pretty sure it's a Nintendo controller. Now, just to make things even more confusing, guys, there are now two different Cat Bros units in the mobile version of Battle Cats. You got the one we're gonna get today, and then you have this one from 2017. The Cat Bros are a special cat that can be unlocked by inputting a special serial code in the Japanese version. They are now unobtainable because serial codes can no longer be input to the game. Although it also says here that they re-release the unit, so people have it. Hang on a second, guys. It says here you can get this cat in the Switch version as well by beating any stage with a lineup consisting of Macho Cat, Wall Cat, and Brave Cat. So basically, the Switch version and the mobile version both allow you to get two different units called Cat Bros. Okay, glad we cleared that up. Also, I'm pretty sure this goes without saying, but this cat has nothing on Mache Cat. Okay, you know what? I don't even wanna mess with anything here. I'm throwing on a treasure radar. We're just gonna hop in there and get our new cat bros. Yeah, that's right, courier cat. You get in there, boy. Oh no. There's one health left on the base. Oh, there they are, guys. Look at that. I actually think uh, this version might be better because they've got the, uh, the multiple colored buttons. So guys, this is epic. Check out our brand new cat bros. I said that these two were Mario and Luigi and I'm even more convinced now considering they are right next to Princess Peach. Joining the fight from the Battle Cats together. We love games and are super friends. Tough versus traitless enemies. Okay. And these guys evolve into Baka Cat Bros. Joining the fight from the Battle Cats together. Even when we grow up, we'll never stop playing. Tough versus traitless enemies. Okay. Do I even need another anti-traitless? I don't know, maybe. Probably not, honestly. Here's a little trivia for you guys. Baka is a Japanese word meaning stupid, stupidity, or idiot. So I guess it kind of makes sense that people run around calling each other sussy bakas. That means you're a suspicious idiot. Oops, looks like I'm a sussy baka. Baka Capro's name and outfits reference the Baka Brothers from the comedy variant show Dorifu Daibakusho. Huh. Okay, I'm only a little sad that these two guys traded in their Super Nintendo controllers for a couple regular Nintendo controllers. That's evolution in reverse, man. I feel like I just spent way too much time talking about a unit that's pretty much completely useless, but it's okay, time for some gameplay. I'm on stage four of this chapter. It was traitless and floating, and then it was black, and then it was alien, and now it's this. Um, clearly we just need the dream team, right? There we go. Okay, so far so good. Can I can I get a can can to kill that? Yeah, okay. I just wanted the extra money, you know? Call me greedy, but I'm greedy. Okay. That was good. Got a max wallet. Uh let's get an Akuma out here. Uh this is probably gonna be one of those floating levels, huh? I do have an octopus. Uh okay. Not a huge fan of what you're doing here, but at least I got Yukimura to do a couple of hits on ya. Oh no. Oh god, that's that guy that tunnels a whole bunch. Get up here! I don't have a Holy Blast! Oh boy. All right. We don't even have zombie killer guys, so I'm gonna just hope that we can get past this guy. I mean, we already are past him, but we need to also kill what's in front of us. But if we can do that, we can survive, right? We will not relent. We will not be destroyed. I hope. 
Come on, man. We were after hitting this guy so many times. Ain't that enough times to hit a person? How many times do you have to hit a person? I, I don't know. Probably less if you bring the right loadout. Look, that's the kind of thing that only happens once, guys. All right. We have a zombie killer in here. But let's get, like, one more. Triple speed and a cat CPU, which I'm going to turn off right away. All right. Because we got to do this. We gotta let Can Can take care of these dudes. All right, there we go. Cat CPU. Let's do it. Zoom out and die. Let's see how far they get with an anti-floating loadout, guys. I mean, those bun buns are getting nowhere. As for that uh, salamander thing, I think we just have to just do this, right? We just gotta break the base real quick. Nothing's gonna happen. Next up, unauthorized breathing. What am I in, China or something? Ugh, this is an anti-zombie stage, guys. That's cool, though. We got Shigong. Um, okay, we'll leave the cat CPU on as a treat. And we're, we also left our triple speed on, but it's all good, okay? Literally, I just gotta do this. I just gotta click here, okay? As long as, long as the cat CPU don't mess this part up, but you can't, because I'm doing it for him, everything's gonna be okay. Okay, it's just a, well, maybe the kangaroo gives us a little bit of trouble. Perhaps. Don't make me play the game. Don't make me do it. Man, for a, for an anti-zombie loadout, guys, we sure are kind of light on anti-zombie Ubers. As in, we don't have any. Who needs an anti-zombie Uber? We do! I'm pretty sure. Man, even with this cat CPU going ham on all this stuff, we ain't making a lot of progress here. I think we're gonna be okay. Guys, nobody tells me I'm not allowed to breathe, okay? Or breed. I will have children if I want. By the way, guys, we're probably gonna have a kid within the next three years, okay? So get used to that idea. Bear fangs at the throne. Okay. It's the debut stage for the legendary Saint Dober. I don't know if Saint Dober's any good, guys. I guess we could click on it and find out. St. Dober deals huge damage and has a 33% chance to create a surge attack that hits units up to 350 range away from him. Unlike most aggressive pusher angels, he's much slower. Although St. Dober's standing range is shorter than Dober PD's, he has an Omni Strike attack that reaches farther than him regardless, so he seldom misses attacks. Oh, to sum him up, he's a dangerous threat that attacks and supports at the same time, shredding through your meat shields and melee units. Damn. So this stage is Relic and Angel, so you know I gotta put my boy Colossal Benkai out. He's gonna walk out there and he's gonna go bonk. Honestly, guys, I only have a couple of anti-angel units that I use religiously, and the other one is Ramen Cat. We gotta have ramen here. For anti-relic, I like to bring slapstick cats, and I think I'm also gonna bring Tea Master because he is immune to waves and surge. I'll take off my cat CPU. I don't think we need that. And I think I'm gonna go on 2x speed instead of 3x. I know. I know, what a boring guy. Um, I don't really want to do that much. I guess maybe a can-can. Can-can and some ramens will save money. Should be good enough, right? I mean, if we can save up money and just put Bankai out here, I feel like that would do the trick. I think, I think we're gonna be okay now, you know? There it is, guys. Woo-wee, look at that dog. Damn, boy. Now listen, don't, don't go surging nobody, okay? Don't be doing that. And I'm sorry that I just screwed up by putting that wave out there. <laughs> Oopsie. And also, I don't need Gao here. I really should have taken Gao out of the loadout. Oh well. <laughs> He's dead, I mean. The power of Benkai. Benkai died right after it did its job. So, uh, all good, man. All good. Saint Dober, more like Saint Dozer. Cause you're gonna put me to sleep. Bye, loser. 400,000 XP for me, and look at that. Got some materials as well, and oh! All right, who's ready to crank out another chapter? Pumping titanium. Treadmill powered. That's a lot of units. What do we got here? Okay, so that doesn't seem too bad, guys. Just alien and red. That's a walk in the park. Okay, I already have an anti-red loadout going here, guys, so I'm just gonna modify it a little bit. I think I might just put in Chill Cat and Seafarer because they're both pretty good. Now the only way this stage is gonna be hard in my opinion is if the order 
of the units is really weird. You know, if we, if we get like a lot of uh, alien and red mixed together, it might kind of ruin our defense against each different type. But we'll see. Oh, oh no, what the? The doge base? The frickin' doge base, man? How dare you? I'm not happy. And I forgot that there's also a wave on this Elizabeth pig thing. I hate you, Elizabeth. There's like no red, okay? So stop putting out anti-red units and just put out your anti-alien units and hope for the best. Oh my God, guys, the best. You can tell this guy's about to die because he's powered up. So let me just snip him or not. Apparently the snip didn't work. Now we have an issue because now we've got two different boars at the same time. That's okay, lots of damage, come on, lots of damage. Should I have had more Ubers, maybe? I could have picked some Ubers that are good against uh, Alien and Red. I mean, that's a thing we could do, but I don't think so. I think we're, I think we're good. If only the freaking Doge base would stop. Oh my God, what the heck, really? Another one? Why would you do that again? Oh, but now they've got multiple of these little crabby boys. I really need wave immunity here, or wave blocker, or wave something. All good, all good. No, no, no more whammies, Doge Base. Thank you. <sighs> okay, all right. Vengeful Sandbag, only three enemies. Oh no, one of those is Assassin Bear. I only looked at the enemies, guys. I didn't actually look at, you know, what I'm supposed to do with them or what they're gonna do to me. I'm just hoping that if I at least have a dark laser, the wave attacks will be enough to kill the assassin bears if they come out. But no, of course not. I'm gonna try that again. I just need to actually land my, uh, my attacks with this thing so we can do the wave attacks, okay? Let's go, let's go, come on. Come on, I don't even know how this works. Can you do wave attacks? Wave attacks? Can you? All right, well, yeah, it would be nice if we froze them a little bit. Where is the assassin bear, though? I thought the assassin bear was coming out any any time. He ain't here. Where he at? There he is. D Come on, I had it. Here it comes. Wait for it. Oh, there we go. And now we can win. What? A silly stage guys like so unnecessary for this to even exist but okay it's the exact same situation as always with the assassin bear just hit it with the cat cannon protein cartel two enemies um okay I feel like I probably should have taken a real load out here guys I feel like uh, I feel like I'm in like a lot of trouble here you know like quite a bit of trouble anyway although these guys can stall pretty well what can we maybe you know you know? Do that. Maybe get him that way. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. This would have totally worked if I was a little faster, but it's fine. Okay. Um, Fishman. Oh, Fishman, stop. I knew you I knew you could do damage, Fishman. I knew you get a hit in now and then. It's all good. It's all good. There we are. Okay. Uh, probably shouldn't send anything else out, though. That isn't Fishman. If anything, I feel like I still should be saving up. But I didn't, so I'm hoping I can kill something. Now, now, now. I see what you're doing, I don't like it. Snip him, come on, ah, okay. We gotta, we gotta stall a little bit better because you, you don't want them, you, you don't get so close. I got rich cats, let's bring a rich cat. I'm literally, I'm just, I'm just sending out the fish, man, okay? Oh no, oh, they're perfectly timed right now. Don't be perfectly timed, that's really sad. Okay, we, we're doing some damage. We're doing a little bit of damage here. Okay, we're, we're making lots of money. Oh yeah, we got a rich cat. Great. Come on, kill the birds. Why are the birds alive? Kill them. Ah, we don't even need to necessarily kill all the birds now. We just need to get the freaking thing out of the way. The flamey boy. Yeah, we're all right. We're all right. Behind the base now, for God's sakes. How do you think that's gonna work out for you, bro? Come on. Come on, think. All right. Anaerobic cycling. Four enemies. Okay, this is the first Uncanny Legend stage that has a little cyclone in it, guys. Uh, looks like we just gotta deal with him and a couple of relics, so... Doesn't sound that hard. Maybe, maybe they've got some weird way of going about this. Okay, one squirrel. This is an anti-zombie loadout with a little bit of anti-relic in it. I might 
have wanted to go the other way with it instead. But we'll see. I'm not actually that worried about the relics. It's just it's just the squirrel and uh, and the and the rhino, right? Okay, let's see how this goes. Now, homie, what the heck did I just do? What 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 cap thing do I have on right now? Oh, okay, not the one I wanted. How you guys doing over here? Good. We're good. You might you might want to watch that. You might want to watch that guy. You know that guy right there. Yep, that's the one. Be careful. Oh, he dead. He dead. Then what are we worried about? Uh oh. Uh oh. He really close. You gotta watch it when he gets really close. But the uh, the rhino is dead. So as long as we put out a new uh, enough new stuff here. Oh, another easy one, guys. Sometimes these stages are kind of tough. Okay, but not today. Sauna handstands. Don't do handstands in the sauna. You could fall over and hurt yourself. There's hot rocks in there. Oh, Saint Dober is back again, folks. I feel like this one might be kind of tricky. I'm thinking something like a crystal cat might be good here, guys. Maybe even a Taurus. I don't know if you can get close enough, but it might be nice to freeze the uh, traitless. Okay, here's what we're gonna go for. And yes, that is a double legend carry. Let's see how it plays out. Show yourself. Oh no, not you. No, I'm not ready for you. Actually, I'm not sure if I am ready for you. Yeah, it's gonna do nothing except make him a little grumpy, which I guess is fine. I think I want surge immunity right here. That'd be great. That's not the unit that I need to be putting out right now, dude. The heck, no, no. Okay, surge immunity, big deal, a big deal. I'm pretty sure Gato Amigo has the uh, evade surge thing. Yeah, there are a few options here, folks. I think I'm gonna take this guy out and put Boulder in. And then we're gonna get Gato Amigo, man. I mean, uh, let's get rid of pizza so we can have the two meat shields. I think I might just make it a cheaper one. Actually, let's make it fast. There you go. Fast and cheap, the way I like it. Okay, so he will get stalled a little bit with this. So let's see how these boys do now. We should be able to get enough going on here to, uh... there we are, yep. Oh, good knockback. I love it when that happens. Get you out here and hopefully that should do it. Okay. And if these guys can continue to knock back now and then, it should be really nice. But that frog is gonna be trouble, right? Oh boy, you're getting real close. Be careful. Die. Okay, he dead. That's great. The legend carry, it works, folks. It actually works. <laughs> Come on, Can Can. I don't know if anyone can actually get close to these guys. I'm trying to get Akuma in here. But the, the, the slow is too much. Like, there's no way to get in there. We're, we're just knocking them back instead, which is fine. Can Can. Can 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 get in there, so. That's all that matters. <laughs> Boom. That's how it's done. Now guys, we are about to see something crazy. Today, we get to see the new Cory. And by new, I mean new to me, okay? Cause I know these levels came out ages ago. Okay, I don't know what's gonna be best here guys. So I'm gonna put in lots of units that are generally good such as these five. Um, but I definitely need to have some anti-metal. Now, obviously the best way to deal with metal is to crit, but it might also be nice to have Hoopmaster in here who can freeze metal enemies. Although that leaves me with a small problem and I think I might actually take this guy out because there's one more unit I wanna have in here and that's Octopus. All right guys, it is time to meet a fierce new challenger. Who goes there? No one, no, there's no one here. It's all good, I'll just save my money then. Oh dear, oh they coming out fast all of a sudden. You gotta be careful. I never know when that's gonna happen. Now listen, I'm, it's all good. You guys go ahead and make me money. I'm not in a rush. If you, if you, if you hurt some of my dudes, I'll put some more dudes out, okay? It's, it's all part of the plan. There we go. Okay, we got her maxed out now, folks. And should we just go for it or what? Well, let me just do an order here. Boop, 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 boop. And there he is, folks. Coronium, the metal Cory. He looks kind of BDSM, if you know what I mean, guys. He looks like Bondage Cat or something. Okay, I don't know what this guy can do. He's got wave attacks, that's what the octopus is for. 
Bondage Corey, looking kind of hot. Corey bot 9000 here for your satisfaction. Yeah, know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> Corey, how you doing there, bud? Do you like critical hits? Cause I like doing critical hits, but I don't know if I'm doing any right now. I don't. I don't think the world wants me to crit at the moment, Corey. But it's cool. It's cool. Pop. That was a crit. Bring in the back. Oh, can we crit? Can we do it? No. This guy. He is hurting me too much. No, he is not. I am hurting him too much. He has died, and I have survived. Oh, have the tables have turned? Except not really, because the table was always this way. Because I always win. Let's go. And just like that, it's over. Such a short and intense love affair I just had with that man with the stuff on. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, folks, I got something cool to look at in the enemy guide. Where is he? Where is the Coronium? I'll work backwards, okay? Coronium! Mascot slash base coach for the NLB champions, Koala Crushers. Force replays of several games by interfering when his team is losing. His harshness during training is feared by all. So he's an unsportsmanlike sports coach. I don't know how I feel about that, Coronium, okay? Be nice to the other players, would ya? It's just a game. Look at this guy. Clearly, he ain't playing. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed checking out the new Corey with me. I know I had fun, and I really wanna see this guy again real soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you wanna check out another one of my videos, may I suggest this one. Perhaps this will float your boat.